www.newtobus.com. This is again Ty, and this video is still a part of the video tutorial series that I'm creating for ZTE ZXV 10W300 series uh, modem rotor. So what we're trying to do now is I'd like to show you how you can disable the firewall on this specific device. So what you do, you access your Firefox or whatever browser that you have. Uh, let me ask back the question. Why do we want to disable the firewall? Because sometimes there are certain applications that would require you to disable the firewall because sometimes port forwarding and DMZ would not work. So what you do, 192.168.1.1 to access your config page a DMIN for a username if you don't know how to access or if you type in 192.168.1.1 and it's not pulling up any web page or it's not even giving you username and password page there's a separate tutorial that we have you can just check that out from the list of videos that we've created just log in and uh, go to something that says, uh, when you logged in, by the way, it's going to give you this, basically, the device info page. What you have to do if you're on a ZTE ZXV10 modem, just go for something that says advanced right here. You've got firewall, routing, NAT, QoS, and ADSL. So to verify that you're actually on a firewall page, click on firewall. So we get advanced setup firewall you got firewall enabled firewall disabled so here what you just have to do is to click on disable and click on save not going to do that because i'm using this as an active modem right now so again firewall select disabled just click on save restart your modem restart your computer restart the application that you're trying to get through with maybe you're using a virtual server or uh, you're running an internet radio that requires you to disable some firewall, then you can do so. Again, for some other video tutorials, you can check out www.newtobus.com and on YouTube, youtube.com slash Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching.